means death. To let go is uncertainty. Either way is a challenge. Message with us. In life, there's so many various ways we can build our own homes, if you will, our homes, right. ourselves. We make we can we can make many different choices and, and build for ourselves a a dwelling place, if you will, or let's put it this way: we can build for ourselves a life. And the 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 only thing is that. The more bricks that are put to that building that are self-made, the more faulty that dwelling place is. And sometimes we go and we go and we build and we build until one day things start to catch on fire. Yeah. Then all of a sudden that life we've been building for ourselves is going up in flames right before our very eyes. And we know we can't stay like this. So we try to get out, but the problem is we've already built ourselves up. So now we're hanging off the ledge. Everything's on fire. Life is spinning out of control. And the Lord is standing there. And he's saying, just let go. Amen. Because let, let's be real, let's be real. We make choices for ourselves that are counter to what God would have us to do. We get further away from His presence. We walk, we choose to walk further away from His safety, from His comfort, from His assurance. And so it's not Him that is left, it is us. Right. And because we've been departed from His ways or that relationship for so long, we begin to develop trust issues. And even though we believe and we can read in His Word that He's saying, just let go, I'll catch you. Sometimes we have to really wrestle with that. Because as soon as we think, if I let go, this might happen, or, or what if it doesn't turn out, or what if I, or what if, hey, listen, you're hanging on to a building that's burning anyway. That's right, that's right. Yeah. If you stay, you die. If you let go, he'll catch you. I promise you, Amen. you'll catch you. Yes, sir. So today in this house, let go. Let go. Let go. Amen. Let go. Hallelujah. And I want to end, but I do want to say this. Son. There are people in this house that have known him. And have known his closeness and have felt his refreshing and his peace and have been assured of their calling in him but because of some things that you didn't expect in life some unexpected situations that were thrust upon you it tainted your choices that you now make so now you're beginning to make choices for yourself based off that hurt. You're making choices for yourself based off what was done to you. Stop. 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 Make choices based on His word. Make choices based on His plan. Make choices that are going to take you closer to Him. Amen. Not further. If it doesn't cause you to step towards your purpose, 
if it doesn't cause you to step closer to Him yeah. in the relationship, then step away from it. Yeah. Stop. Don't go that way. Yeah. Don't go that way. The further you go, the crazier it is to get back. Yeah. You'll end up like me down in Indianapolis. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. Find yourself going the wrong way down one way street. Yeah. Turn it right when you should turn left. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not pretty. Yeah. Amen. Hey, God is good, isn't he? Yes. Oh, yeah. God is good. here today because of the Lord, the presence of the Lord. And uh, if you will open your heart up and open your spirit, let go. God will. God, God will speak into your life today if you can open up to Him. Amen. Ushers, go ahead. Let's take up an offering.